friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to the tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Analyst. We are in Chapter 3 and looking at experience based techniques. The next technique to understand today is about exploratory testing. When you talk about exploratory testing, uh, we've known already from the foundation, you can quickly look up the card to go to the basics and other understanding of the exploratory and then you can look at this one. When you talk about exploratory testing, it is all about executing uh, session-based testing where you have no test cases or generally you do not have any kind of documentation being done, but you just interact with the product or application randomly or ad hoc. So when you talk about ad hoc, it's just that like, you know, you have something in your mind and you're trying to explore the product by trying for some random steps or execution process while interacting with the application. And is there any kind of observation you will just uh, communicate it verbally in terms of a debriefing session to the manager to see if there are any in-depth testing required to uncover those areas. So yes, a good exploratory testing is always planned, interactive and creative because when you talk about uh, reducing your timeline, but at the same time, you want to achieve a better coverage you need to be creative and interactive in terms of understanding the typical areas where you generally find defects or typical areas where developer generally goes wrong and you try to make sure that you try to uncover the defects on this, those areas. But yes, at the same time, uh, the little documentation creates certain difficulties in managing the test details. That what exactly is all about uh, what you have done, how many test cases have been executed. So rather we make use of a test charter, which you know from the foundation, the charter will basically contain the list of activities which are being conducted and who is organizing it, who is executing it, uh, what time it will start, what time it will end, what is the total duration of the uh, session based testing and if there are any kind of uh, objective related to that, what is that you want to achieve and uh, do you have any kind of a prerequisite and all those information will be mentioned in a document called as test charter and it is also known as time box test session because we have a time limitation when it once comes to uh, executing the exploratory testing which is between 30 minutes to 120 minutes now again when you talk about minimal documentation or no documentation in exploratory testing it is very difficult to reproduce an issue so when you come across an issue uh, in the product, it is uh, difficult for somebody else to reproduce it as you have not documented the steps which you performed during the uh, execution. So some organizations make use of capture and playback of uh, test automation tool, which is basically an exploratory testing tool, which generally captures all the steps which you performed during that session. And that helps us to uh, record and capture the activities which help us to reproduce if in case you come across an issue. And that could be the best way to deal with expert session. But of course, not all the organization can afford it. So you rather target the uh, steps or immediately record or capture those critical steps which help you to find certain issues in the program. So. That's what we are talking about exploratory altogether. So you will be having certain theoretical base questions from this. So, you know, just make sure that you understand well about the approach and how does it apply to that. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Thanks for watching the video. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring and keep understanding. Should you have any query, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to assist you. Till then, take care team and happy learning.